if you're looking for aberrant shield pattern analysis to unlock the search, stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how I've collected mine. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy and to Elite Dangerous. I'm in the process of unlocking um, the Sarge who does uh, amongst other things uh, cannon upgrades. Um, and to do that you need uh, to get some, let me find them here, aberrant shield pattern analysis. And they can be a bit of a pain to get your hands on. Um, but I think I found <clears throat> I found the most uh, effective way to get them and today I'm going to show you what that is. So in order to get these you need to scan um, It doesn't really have to be combat uh, oriented ships, but you need to scan other ships um, Some people says you have to sc scan combat ships. However, I've managed to get them off Asp Explorers Actually the, the ship that gave me the most is Asp Explorers. So but what I really find is that it's not it's more the uh, the intent of the ship than the actual ship types that's important. So what you need to find is ships that are looking for trouble. Um, so what I've done is I've moved, as you can probably see on all the shooting going on in front of me, I've moved here to an hazardous extraction site. And these extraction sites, of course, you will find a lot of, uh, of ships shooting at each other, as you can see here. And all you've got to do is simply just lock them scan the ship and hope for the best. I, I found that you are more, most likely to get them from ships that are wanted um, than from ships that are not wanted. Um, however, you can also get them from ships that are uh, um, that are not wanted, but I find it more, more, um, more likely to get it. And it also seems like um, ships... You see, there was actually one, and that was off a federal dropship. Um, so Dropships, gunships, pythons has given me quite a lot, and again, I got some of some uh, the an Asp Explorer as well. But um, I think almost any ships. Um, I haven't got any of the mining ships, so the ships that are out here mining haven't given me anything um, as of yet. Um, not saying that they can't, but just think it's less they're less likely. So you should probably try to focus on ships that are doing combat. So I'm just running around here scanning everything regardless of size and if you're ever in doubt which ships um, in your vicinity you have scanned you can always go to your contact panel and you can see um, this clipper for instance is already scanned because I have a full list including its bounty and everything but if I move down the list for instance here's a type 7 transporter I probably wouldn't scan him because he's probably not here to shoot at people he's most likely here to mine federal dropship but you can see here it says scan required so I would lock him, locate him on my radar, point towards him, and scan him. And there we go. He's heading into the belt. Oh, he's actually wounded, so he might also be here for trouble. And then we just go through the list. Asp Explorer, we've seen that those can, uh, oh, I know those can give some um, some data as well, so let's try to scan him. Nothing there either. But this is pretty much just it. Um, of course, you can do this if you're out here doing combat anyway. I'm just doing this in a in a ship without anything in my uh, normal cargo hold because then all the pirates won't really bother me. Um, but you can do it if you're out here in a, in a combat ship. Um, you can gather them as uh, as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once you feel like um, I wouldn't spend, oh, it's actually both two very good ships here, drop ships and with the other assault ships, or gun ships and assault ship, I think it was. Um, once you're done with that, you simply just log out, log into another session. So if you're in, in a solo play, you log into a uh, into a private session and the other way around, um, and you just keep scanning. I would once you feel like you've scanned everything in your immediate vicinity. Um, I would move on to the next session instead of waiting for new ships to spawn. It is much faster and a lot more efficient. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, so just uh, keep scanning. I have found that it, it varies a lot. Sometimes you are very lucky and you would get three, four, five uh, successful scans on uh, in a single session. And then other types you have lots of sessions in a row where you're not just not getting anything. Um, why that is, I don't know. Um, and I've also tried to see if I could identify if ship size had anything to do with it. It doesn't seem like it has. 
Um, so I mean, uh, Cobras has given me these. Uh, Cutters has given me these. I mean, it all depends on. Um, um, but I, I guess it doesn't really depend on the uh, um, on the size of the ship. I think it's more dependent on the intention of the ship. So if it's intended to be here to fight, then it have a higher chance of doing of giving these. Um, that's at least how it looks in uh, from my experience. So if you're having trouble in not getting them, just uh, keep at it. Eventually you will get some, and suddenly you get a lot of them uh, on a single session. Um, but anyway, that was it. Very quick, very short video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like down below, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel, or maybe become a Patreon, and support the channel directly by giving a small amount each month. Thanks a lot for watching, and also next time, I'll see you guys in space.